on 17 September 2022, which is also the birthday of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, 20 African cheetahs were reintroduced in Kuno National Park of India. And so many environmental experts have said that this would be good step for the wildlife diversity of India. But on the other side, many of the environmentalists have said that this environment is not suitable for the cheetahs in India. And so many political experts have also said that you know this is more of a political stunt rather than wildlife diversity of India. Hello everyone, welcome to the in new series of Drishti IS. I am Ritu, and today we are going to discuss an important topic. The title of today's topic is "Why Project Cheeta is Failing in India," and this topic is important from GS three perspective. So, moving to the points of discussion part. First of all, we will discuss the news that why Project Cheeta is in news, and then history behind the Cheeta's extinction. That this history is new, or whatever the history we have, and then we will briefly discuss about the Project Cheeta. and after that we will discuss about how death of cheetah is avoidable in india and after that we will discuss the practice question for prelims and mains as well moving to the news part so we all know that there were 20 cheetahs were reintroduced in india and among them nine were dead and one is missing and out of uh, 24 new cubs have been arrived or given birth in india so this is the current status of the reintroduced cheetahs in india on the other hand there were so many debates around this project cheetah so many political experts have said that this is a political symbolism and this cheetah's personality is compared to the personality of narendra modi and this is more of the political stunt on the other hand environmental experts have said that reintroduction plan is good and this is nothing new plan but you know you should look for the environment as well so this is the current situation of the project cheetah and why this is in news we are discussing here moving to the next slide so next slide is about history behind extinction of cheetahs so what is the history is this new so this thing is not new and what are the reasons we have first of all we should know what are the cheetahs and who are the cheetahs so cheetahs are the long cat animals and they are native to africa and central iran and their speed is like 80 to 98 km per hour which is very high speed and what is their present iucn status so their present iucn status is vulnerable and they are also categorized under red list so this is a brief introduction about the cheetah moving to the next slide so what are the reasons we have for their extinction so first reason is hunting with cheetahs it means that this thing is nothing new in india uh, the hunting with cheetah has been introduced in 12th century and we have the evidence from the chalukyan era that hunting with cheetah was very popular at that time and this was so much popular in mughal era and akbar was highly fond of it even jahangir was also fond of it and there is a new course introduced at that time which is called as cheetah coursing and what is this cheetah coursing is called so uh, in this cheetahs were used for the hunting of other animals so this uh, sport is and this activities is quite famous in medieval india and this is not just limited to the mughal india they are also spread in the other dynasties as well so uh, this thing is not new we know that we have the evidence from the early medieval to the medieval times and but what happened after that cheetahs were kept uh, in captivity and it's very difficult for them to breed in that captivity and they were highly used for the hunting purposes so this is not the natural state of the cheetah because of this there is a declination in cheetah's population before british era and after that what happened that british came to in india and there is a more declination of cheetahs because british were fond of hunting they were not uh, fond of coursing with the cheetahs so in coursing with the cheetah the cheetahs were used for hunting of the other animals but british were hunting of the cheetahs only so along with the tigers bisons and elephants they also hunt the cheetahs and they had also kept reward of rupees 6 and rupees 12 rupees 6 is kept for the cub cheetahs and rupees 12 for the adult cheetah those who will hunt the cheetahs they will be rewarded with rupees 6 and rupees 12 so this further led the declination of the cheetahs population on the other hand in british time there is a mass clearance of the forest because of the factory establishment because of the establishment of the railway and this also create a hostile environment for the cheetah to survive so these are the reasons for their declination on the other hand the third is that international trade of the cheetahs 
so whatever trade we are seeing that you know we have imported cheetahs from the african countries so this is not new in the colonial times and in the 20th century so many leaders and so many rajas of kolapur has imported cheetah from the african countries but their reintroduction was not much successful because of the hostile environment and because of the lack of dense forest so this plan is not much successful because they were not getting their natural habitat so these are the reasons for their decline moving to the next slide so next slide is about project cheetah so we all know that you know this plan was introduced on 17th september 2022 which is a birthday of prime minister narendra modi and when this cheetah was declared as extinct in india so they were declared as extinct in 1952 and uh, what this project involves so this project involves translocation of cheetahs from african countries to the kuno national park of india and where this kuno national park is situated so it is situated in madhya pradesh of india so this is the project cheetah and in under this project 20 cheetahs were reintroduced and currently we have nine dead cheetahs one missing and four cubs were given birth so this is the current situation of the project cheetahs moving to the next slide so next slide is how cheetahs death is avoidable so what are the reasons for cheetahs death in kuno national park the first thing is that lack of mating partners because you know females are more vulnerable and females are more excited for the mating and among cheetahs women tend to invite male partners to have intercourse with them and what we have seen there that you know women's are very vulnerable and they can go to one territory to another territory in order to invite men to have intercourse with them but such things are not available and possible in the kuno national park because of the lack of the habitat and the area was very low and there is a lower density in that area the second thing is that behavior in captivity so we have seen that till 1956 there was no record found that any uh, cheetahs have breeded and mated in the captivity and any cubs have given birth but this year we have seen that four cubs have been given the birth but this is not a positive sign because more of the cheetahs have died because they are behaving very differently in the captivity and it's very uh, hostile environment for them to uh, breed in the captive area because of the lack of the location because in african countries there is a dense forest the area is very large and you know women have tendency to go to one place to another place and they urine and after urinating they invite male to attract with them and the male also find that if they are in the heat condition then they can mate together so this is the possible condition for their mating the third is that cheetahs lane lover that you know there is a lane lover for the cheetahs like male cheetahs behave differently and female cheetahs behave differently so what happened that female cheetahs behaves very positive in the solitary space on the other hand male behaves positively in the groups so what we have seen that if two female cheetahs were kept together then there is a chances of separation of ovulation among females but what happens in male that if two males kept together then they behave like siblings and they lives in a very positive environment so such kind of favorable environment were unable in the kuno national park so this is a problem with the cheetahs reintroduction moving to the next slide so next slide is about question consider the following statement regarding cheetah action plan 2022 the first statement is the project has been started in collaboration with ntca and chatisgarh government the second is 20 radio collared cheetah were reintroduced in india third is in 1990 they were declared as extinct in india how many of the statement given above is are correct so your options are only one only two all three none moving to the next slide so discuss the causes of extinction of cheetahs in india what are the ecological challenges associated with reintroduction of cheetahs in india so we already have discussed so first of all you have to give brief introduction of cheetahs so i have already told you that cheetahs are cat species and they are one of the fastest animal in the land and their speed is 80 to 98 km per hour so this is a brief introduction of the cheetahs and then you come to the causes of extinction so what are the causes of extinction we have so first causes is the environment that we don't have much favorable environment for them the second is hunting with cheetahs 
द थर्ड इज चीता कोर सिंह फोर्थ इज क्लियरेंस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट देन पोचिंग ट्रेडिंग these are the possible causes for their extinction so you will address this thing with this moving to the second part of the question so what second part says that ecological challenges so we have already discussed that what are the ecological challenges they have so the first ecological challenge is that environment is not suitable for them because they need large spaces and dense forest which is very difficult in india because we don't have much large forest like africa the second thing is that you know they have a different kind of ovulation period different kind of mating tendency women behaves differently male behaves differently and for that they need different kind of spaces different kind of plains which is impossible in india because of the lack of the space and they have kept in the captivity so they could not be in their natural state and what we have seen that you know among male cheetah sperms are not very fertile in condition around 30% sperms are fertile or around 70% are in deformative state so this is also one of the problem and all this fertility depends upon the environment depends upon the mating and depends upon the behavior with their colleagues and behavior with their mating partners so these are also the ecological challenges we have the second thing is that there is also constant competition with other animals because cheetahs are the fastest animal so they behaves very smartly in comparison to other animals so there is a lack of habitat lack of space and lack of other species also responsible lack of food also is responsible for such things so these are the ecological challenges we have in conclusion you can write that you know there are other animals whom we can take care of because india is favorable to the other animals as well so it's better to focus on such animals for which india's environment is suitable and we should not waste our time and money on such species for which india's environment is not suitable and we have lack of resources as well for the cheetahs so the introduction and conclusion should be very crisp in nature i hope you like this lecture if you have any queries related to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you